Hi there. Now, in this question, we're asked to simplify 7 plus root 5, all divided by root 5 minus 1, given your answer in the form a plus b root 5, where a and b are integers. So, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now the answer to this problem, save you going through the video, is 3 plus 2 root 5. But if you haven't got that, I want to see how I did it anyway, I'll just run through the work solution. So first of all, what I'd want to do is just copy out the question. So we've got 7 plus root 5, all divided by root 5 minus 1. And what we've got to do with this is rationalize it. That is to get rid of the denominator, the thirds in the denominator. And uh, I'm just writing that obviously this is equal to this. No big deal there. But remember to rationalize something we multiply effectively by one. But because we've got a root here in the denominator and we've got two terms, what we do is we switch the sign on this. So in this example it's negative, so um, 1 is to multiply top and bottom by root 5 plus 1, okay, and then root 5 plus 1. So we're not altering the value of our fraction because we're multiplying it by 1, but what will happen is we'll just change the appearance of it. So think of this then as one bracket multiplied by another bracket and so we do 7 times root 5 which is 7 root 5 and then we've got 7 times 1 which is 7 and then root 5 times root 5 which is the same as root 25 or in other words 5 and then you've got root 5 times the 1 which is root 5 and all this is divided by and if we expand these two out, we've got root 5 times root 5, which is root of 25, or 5. And then you've got root 5 times plus 1. I'll put this in, although you most probably might realize that this just gets cancelled out in a moment, because we have minus 1 times root 5, which is minus root 5. And that's the reason, by the way, why we switch the signs, so we get this cancelling out. And then lastly, we have minus 1 times plus 1, which is minus 1. And tidying this up, let's start with the 7 and the 5, so we end up with 12. And then we've got 7 root 5 plus another root 5, so it's going to be plus 8 root 5. As I said earlier, the root 5s now cancel one another out. You're just left with 5, take away 1, which is 4. Now... You could divide 4 into both of these terms at this stage, or you could just pull out 4 on the top as a common factor. And if you do that, you're going to have 4 times 3 plus 2 root 5. And that will be divided by 4. The 4s cancel. Okay. And the answer you get then is that it's equal to 3 plus 2 root 5. So I just pulled out that 4 there. You don't have to. You could divide 4 straight into these two terms and come up with this. But it was just to show you that you don't divide 4 just into one of the terms. It's a common factor between both of them, so you can cancel it out either like that or you must divide it into both terms. Okay, well, I hope you're able to see how to do that then.